What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andri and today I'm gonna be doing an update on MMTLP and FINRA saga. And on today's video I will show you the latest news directly related to our story. I will show you that according to some uh, media, so we are about to see something big. And on top of that, I will show you that we are about to see uh, Elon Musk that will step in uh, the case uh, of fighting against uh, the illegal uh, naked shorting on the market. And in my opinion, it also might be huge news. On top of that, uh, I will show you an update from Mark Basile regarding the uh, illegal warrants uh, and uh, type of financing which leads to huge bearish pressure on underlying assets. So, and before we dive deep into all of this, I kindly ask you to hit the like button for YouTube algorithm. For now, we have uh, to unite and we know that inside our community we have some problems because we have different uh, points of view. But in general, our main goal is still the same. We have to fight against uh, the wrongdoers and we have to win our battle in order to receive uh, all the benefits that we have to and in order to uh, have a fair market. So just hit the like button. And guys, I want to start uh, with uh, this tweet. Today is uh, November 11th and it means uh, it is a Veterans Day. And I want to show you uh, this uh, tweet that was written by Wall Street Ponzi. And it says 2,160,444 shares of MMTLP are held by these 130 veterans. This is well over $10 million in veterans' assets, frozen for 328 days. There are over 100 veterans in Congress. We deserve for Congress to subpoena the aggregate uh, audited share count. And uh, let me show you that. Uh, uh, not only 130 veterans inside the MMTLP community, but also 14 uh, active duty and uh, 60 disabled veterans. And I have to say that uh, it is very important uh, to solve uh, this uh, problem not only for us, but also for veterans. And uh, in my opinion, we have to do it. So let's start uh, with other news. And I want to pay attention on this tweet uh, that was originally uh, made by Frank Ness. And he published this uh, picture and uh, he wrote, something big is coming. And you can see uh, this uh, is some kind of uh, filming process. And uh, for now, we don't know what uh, it is all about. But let me show you this uh, clapper board in details. Right here, you can see that... Uh, uh, we can, uh, we can read uh, first word uh, is Mark, second uh, potentially Frank, uh, and uh, it is quite difficult to understand, and another word is J and R. So, what does it mean? I don't know. And I have to say that uh, Frank Ness uh, published this type of tweet for the first time, and if uh, he thinks uh, that something big is coming, Definitely it is, and we have to pay our attention on his Twitter account and on his website as well, frankness.com, and uh, potentially in upcoming days or maybe weeks uh, we might see some updates regarding this uh, news. So, let me show you another quite interesting news. Uh, Anna reposted this tweet that was uh, made by Jen uh, Capella and uh, she wrote uh, and she published uh, this uh, video with Elon Musk. It is basically uh, Elon Musk uh, on Lex Freeman's uh, podcast and uh, he literally said this. Not once did the SEC go after any of the hedge funds who were non-stop shorting and distorting uh, Tesla. Not once. Hedge funds would live let out on TV for their own gain at the expense of retail investors. Not once did the SEC pursue them. SEC regulators sell small investors down the river for their own career. And I have to say that uh, it might be very important uh, for the retail community in general. And definitely it is too early to conclude that uh, Elon Musk uh, uh, steps in for 100% uh, in order to uh, fight against uh, the wrongdoers. But a lot of people in our community as well pay their attention to this uh, news. 
John Burda also wrote, wow, and uh, he reposted a tweet that was uh, made by Ham Short Killer, and Ham wrote, so this is spot on. Elon, help us uh, beat uh, this crap out of these crooks. A special dividend in Tesla wipes uh, them out and helps all Americans. And we know that uh, previously uh, Tesla was the most shorted company on the market and uh, Elon knows exactly that uh, it is uh, very painful for shareholders uh, to experience these type of uh, problems. And we have to know what might be the signs uh, of uh, this uh, illegal activity. And let me show you that uh, Mark Basile wrote this tweet and uh, he basically explains uh, how the dilution funding works. So. Uh, Warrants 101. Many retail investors don't know that up until a few years ago, warrants issued in connection with public company financing were usually out of the money, with a fixed exercise price. This means uh, as the company did better and the stock price improved, the holder of the warrant could exercise it by paying the company uh, the fixed exercise price companies used to raise additional money from fundings this way and were able to capture the appreciation of the underlying common shares based on the improved market value. Today, though, almost all small cap Nasdaq and uh, New York Stock Exchange issuers are forced to take uh, a vegetable down warrants, meaning they are built uh, in triggers to keep uh, lowering the exercise price based on numerous factors. Does this in incentivize short selling? I know the answer. Do you? And John Burda also wrote this 100%. However, they don't even need them to be repriced. They use the words to show their prime brokers uh, that they have shares that they can assess if uh, need be, if uh, the stock goes higher. The primes illegally allow the words to use to short against. This is why any deal you see with warrants is going lower. And Mark also uh, wrote to this. That's correct and highly illegal. And guys, this uh, is uh, the scheme how a lot of uh, short sellers behave. Because uh, you can uh, basically see it all, even on the MMAT uh, ticker symbol. As you can see back uh, in uh, 2021, uh, MMAT right after the merger with TRCH uh, had a huge spike in its price from its lowest point to its highest point for more than 4,000%. Uh, but then it dropped. It dropped, uh, basically it was demolished uh, by these uh, uh, short sellers. And this is uh, how illegal actors work. So, and let me show you that uh, in just a couple of days, uh, we can uh, find a lot of uh, new information from uh, Richard Hoffman's live stream, and we know that. Uh, let me show you this tweet. Uh, he wrote uh, just two days ago uh, that uh, one lawyer, Marn Basile, and two other guys, uh, Mr. Jr. and Not Legal Advice, Sunday night at 8, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And in my opinion, it will be a huge uh, live stream video uh, because of uh, the uh, density of information that we might receive uh, from uh, Mark Basile. And I think uh, it is uh, basically the only way how we can uh, uh, receive uh, this information. And uh, I think uh, there will be huge, huge uh, update regarding our case uh, and regarding uh, all the lawsuits uh, that we have on the table right now. So I think uh, that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye. I got the cash in the bag. Stay